Stop. Good morning. I want you to turn into a bantu. Good morning! Thought I would go about my day and just kind of leave bunny cam here for you guys to watch what they're up to. I don't know, you guys should just let me know if you like bunny cam. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys about this new nightmare I unlocked. As I've mentioned in one of my last videos, I just have this new form of anxiety. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's almost like that thing where it's just like, oh, a million ways to die or a hundred ways to die or something like that. This is my laundry closet. It has like an exhaust fan in there, but like it gets really hot and moist in there. Cookie, out of both the bunnies, really loves to run inside there when I'm in the middle of doing laundry. And one time he actually got stuck in there and I didn't know for the longest time. I woke up in the morning, I was like, where did he go? Did he sneak into one of the bedrooms? Which he does that also. But I was looking around and I couldn't find him. And then I remembered, I was like, oh my gosh, wait, he goes inside the laundry closet. And I don't remember kicking him out that one time. And I opened the closet and he was in there. <sighs> the dryer wasn't on, so it wasn't hot in there. But the other morning I couldn't find Cookie again and I was doing laundry again and the dryer was still on and I was like oh shoot did he just get like cooked alive inside that laundry closet like I just couldn't find him anywhere and then I realized he was freaking sitting in his um this ratchet ass toy box over here he was just sitting there sometimes it's funny in that way but I unlock a new way for them to die every single time So, um, I came to the realization that Cookie's little fun little ratchet toy box, he just turned into like a third big litter box and it kind of stained my floors. So, I sprayed a little bit of towel exit mold. Um, don't worry, it's not near any of their hay. It was just straight onto the floor. Oh no. Oh no. It's stained forever. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> That ratchet litter box has got to go. As you can see, every single plant that I have in my house is strategically placed so that my rabbits can't reach it or eat it. Um, my plants are either elevated or um, on stands or on a table because the rabbits have eaten this plant specifically. As you can see, majority of the leaves are at the top of the plant. That wasn't the plant's choice. Uh, all the leaves at the bottom, I just told my husband, just fell off and died. But really, it was uh, the product of my rabbits just ripping off leaves one by one and running away with it. Obviously, I didn't let them eat it because majority of house plants are toxic to rabbits. So what usually would happen is they'd rip off a branch and then I'd see them running around with it in their mouths and then I'd just quickly take it off them and put it in the bin. I guess what I'm trying to say is my rabbits are forcing this fiddle leaf tree to evolve and grow in a certain way where they can't eat it or reach the leaves. So it works for me. This crazy looking plant needs a new home. We just haven't figured out where to put it yet because it's quite a low hanging plant. So I probably need a taller stand for it. Otherwise the rabbits will just go yum 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 and just eat away at the baby leaves at the bottom. Anyway. I'll take you away to where the sun shines. 